Hello everyone, this is Akaim and welcome back to another episode of Fun Day Sunday and I can already hear the groans of you guys saying it's another Z46 video. Yes, it's another Z46 video. I am joined with Formal Sky in the Missouri and Imperial in the Kitakaze and we're playing on Okinawa. For whatever reason, I just had two really good games on the Okinawa map. And yeah, it's a Z46 video. Yay! I promise I'll probably try to cut down on the Z46, just like uh, there was a time when I had a lot of Moggy videos. I've cut down on the Moggy, which actually is rather amusing. I don't play Maya Moggy as much as I used to. I feel like she's not as good. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just RNG. But for whatever reason, the RNG on Maya Moggy is just not as good as it used to be. Which is very disappointing because I love the Amagi class battleship, uh, battle cruiser. But yeah, uh, so Z46 playing on Okinawa, as you can see, tier 9 match, not too bad. And the reason why I love the Z46 over, say, the Fletcher, I know, heresy, heresy, Fletcher, not as good in Z46, in my opinion. Uh, but. Fletcher does have a few things over the Z46. But anyways, Z46, not as, well, some people would say not as good as the Fletcher, but I love the fact of her torpedo reload. It's very quick. And this captain has adrenaline rush on it, so the more damage I take, the faster my torpedoes reload. Yes, torpedoes don't hit as hard. Yes, you have less torpedoes than the Fletcher, and yes, they do have shorter range, but they reload so quickly that that's why I actually generally open up with torpedoes uh, at the very beginning of the match. And any Fletcher that shows you broadside uh, will meet the full strength of the Z46 and this is actually really amusing because I've seen so many instances of Z46 captains not using AP against destroyers. Yes, when uh, the enemy destroyer turns away, your AP is going to ricochet, bounce, not do any damage. And that is actually really a good time to switch over to HE um, and obviously use that to your advantage. But AP with the Z46, Z52, and even the lower end German destroyers are very, very strong. Now, as you can see on the mini map, uh, we have Imperial currently trying to capture A. I believe there's a destroyer up there, and Formal's trying to assist them as much as possible, trying to take out that enemy cruiser. I don't remember what enemy cruiser that is, but there's also a enemy Missouri just to the west of us, uh, west of B. He's going to be a problem because obviously it's a Missouri, and Missouri does have radar, albeit not that long range as the USN cruisers, such as the Des Moines, and or as long lasting as the Des Moines, can still be uh, very deadly. And I don't know why I just had a voice crack there, but Fletcher shows back up, focusing him down. I do pop my smoke. Um, Hoping that I could hide in the smoke while being able to shoot at this Fletcher. However, the Missouri has now decided uh, he wants to try to assist and starts pushing forward. And I believe the Missouri, if memory serves me, has a 9.5 kilometer radar. And yeah, this, this Fletcher has taken a lot of damage. And there we go. There is the enemy at Missouri's radar. And it is probably a good idea to get away as quickly as possible. We're targeted by five. Torpedoes are once again up again. Once again, this is why I like the Z46. It's just the fact that her torpedoes just reload so darn quickly. And honestly, I don't mind taking damage because that means, yeah, in the future, going on against uh, full health enemy destroyers is going to be slightly problematic because I won't have the health for it but it will mean my torpedoes reload that much quicker. And they're fairly decent as far as damage is concerned. Well, not as amazing as the Fletcher. Yes, I know damage with the Fletcher torpedoes are far more uh, sufficient, but just the fact that you're able to get these torpedoes out at such a quick interval that they can be quite oh, devastating. Oh, and we do get a torpedo hit, cause of flooding on that Missouri, but obviously he is 
not flooding because he does use his damage control because he has not been set on fire and our team well as you can see our team's kind of sitting in the back but at the moment no one's actually got a cap yet um unfortunately i think formal uh is starting to push in and imperial is also dealing with a destroyer i'm trying to remember i believe it is a ign mainline destroyer uh currently uh, dealing with them i also believe there is either a cleveland uh class cruiser up there why am i saying class i don't know why i think there is a cleveland or a usm cruiser uh spamming him with he i don't really recall unfortunately uh the spotting range uh for this is not that good so i can't see exactly what it is and one little side note i actually learned uh while watching our uh, world of warships uh video on this is the fact that you can actually invisifier it takes really particular uh, circumstances for that to actually occur uh, but it is possible now anyone that has not played the game for a long time will uh, not remember the days of the ability to invisifier and that was either the best experience of your life or the worst experience of your life I've actually had a battle loss because the enemy Fletcher was able to invisify on two battleships and the battleships couldn't do anything because obviously not as fast as a Fletcher and the Fletcher could just keep its distance while obviously uh, hitting us and there we go uh, six torpedoes one dead one dead buffalo uh, so that definitely has helped us up a little bit we do have two caps but there is now actually a circumstance and it really comes down to the visual range that you have with your uh, ships. Now destroyers obviously have shorter visual range and apparently that comes down to the height of the tallest part of your ship. The higher it is, the more visual range you have. And it can be done with say like the enemy Yamato which has really good range versus a enemy destroyer. So if that enemy destroyer is out uh, if the Yamato is outside the enemy destroyer's uh, visual range and is spotted, the enemy Yamato can fire and not be spotted. So, very unique circumstance uh, on that. So, at the moment, trying to, once again, try to capture B and still having a lot of issue. There's an enemy Iowa that has been essentially sitting in this one spot for such a long time, holding it down. Um, enemy friendly teams not really being able to do much. Uh, Kitakaze is also an issue. I believe there is... Uh, ooh, wow. Got a torpedo on the Edinburgh. Uh, the Minsk. Poor Minsk. Uh, can't really face off against the Kitakaze. Kitakaze would just eat it alive. Uh, so, I mean, at the moment, we've lost our Missouri. We lost Formal, unfortunately. He was focused down. Um, and... Uh, go ahead, open up on this Iowa, kind of steal the kill there, uh, but that's obviously very beneficial. Do pop my own smoke screen. Uh, Missouri is kind of close to us, so we're going to try to get a little bit forward. Um, and also the fact there is a British uh, cruiser right behind us. So trying to keep my distance between both the Missouri and and try and get some damaging shots on the Amagi. And once again, the German AP and the enemy destroyers, er, enemy destroyers, and their destroyers is actually really fantastic against battleships. Uh, you can do quite a bit of damage. Now, I am moving out of the smoke screen. You could argue whether or not I could have probably peppered the Amagi, but honestly, with the fact that the Edinburgh is that close, uh, there are more than likely torpedoes incoming and we should have B and I should probably head over to C to try to assist on taking out the enemy destroyers over there. Uh, and once again that Missouri is definitely a problem for us. So enemy Moss is spotted. Um, yeah, I think we're going to hold off on our fire. It looks like Imperial does take out the enemy in North Carolina with fire and it can be very easily done with the Kitakaze. It's just high rate of firepower uh, can just be quite devastating. So moving over to C, and this is something you need to learn as a destroyer, is to play objectives. Play objectives. Like right now, uh, it's more beneficial for our team if I try to assist over here. Uh, Moss is very low in health. 
He'll open up on him. He pops his smoke grain and obviously disappears. And then I am obviously at a dis disadvantage. So I do break away. No point in trying to continue firing. Fortunately able to disappear just because of the fact that the range on the Z46 is only 11 kilometers that I'm able to somewhat disappear. Unfortunately, I believe the Moss did pop back out of his smoke screen. And once again, uh, dropping torpedoes because these torpedoes just reload so darn quick. Might as well. You never know. You might get lucky. Now, unfortunately, we have just lost our Baltimore. Uh, we still have our Minsk, who is trying his very best to try to help out. Enemy team is starting to push B. KGV is starting to push into B. Uh, but obviously, it's not the one capping. It is, in fact, I believe the Edinburgh. It could also be the Moss uh, that is currently capping B. Uh, my, my main focus is try to capture C, and if possible, try to capture or try to kill the Kitakaze. And it looks like it is the Edinburgh uh, starting to push into the B cap or in the B cap. And Kitakaze opens up trying to take out our Minx, but obviously, uh, with the fact that there are both of us here, this Kitakaze should go down. Um, and you can see that we're actually getting quite a bit of overpens there, but we do take out the enemy Kitakaze. Uh, do pop my smoke screen, because uh, do you want to try to preserve some amount of health? Because uh, there are still two enemy destroyers left on this map, uh, which is obviously the Moss and I believe once again the IGN. Yes, the Kagero is uh, still up north of us at A. And is probably going to be the, uh, well, the slaughter of the, I believe it's in North Carolina, all the way up north. Something tells me that's what it is. Uh, but we should capture C. A has been captured by Imperial, so we're definitely ahead on points, ahead in as far as caps. And the enemy team is starting to push into B. And you can kind of see that our team is kind of spread out uh, for the most part. We have some ships uh, north of A1, I believe AFK actually. I believe this Hipper is actually AFK. So we're down a ship. Uh, we still have the Donskoy and we still have the Minks. So, with that being said, we're going to try to help take out um, any ship if possible. Uh, Minks is running away and obviously AP is not going to be that beneficial. I do hold my fire because mm, not really worth it. Not gonna be able to kill that moss outright. So gonna try to play the actual sneaky destroyer bit of uh, dropping torpedoes on the enemy Amagi. There we have just actually lost our Colorado to the Kagero, who is gonna act like a hot shot in the end of this match. Uh, you will see an in chat is actually really amusing. Uh, and at the moment our team is ahead in points and well no sorry ahead in caps but we will be uh, catching up on points in a moment and dropping torpedoes and at the very least just defending uh, from the enemy team being able to push towards us and I do apologize if I sound a little stuffed up it's because my nose is stuffed and I've been having a uh, an eye issue. I don't know if it's pink eye or an eye infection or if there's something in there. So it's made my nose really stuffed and I do apologize if I do sound really stuffed up. It's just the fact that I'm stuffed up and I can't really do much about it. I just have to pump out these videos. Do get a flood on the Amagi. This is important. Only one torpedo hits him. Um, and hopefully should be able to at least knock him out. Enemy Moss is once again spotted. Uh, he is playing very, very passively. He's very well aware that he is spotted uh, and is making high tail run away from us. But I'm being careful because that is a enemy Missouri. And if the Missouri is lucky enough, could actually take us out in one salvo. Do open up, switched over to HE because uh, just because of this angle, it's so much well it's the worst thing for uh, enemy or for German destroyers to actually use AP and we actually get a kill on the Amagi uh, he flooded to death but unfortunately for us uh, we do have an Edinburgh and a Missouri right behind us once again the Moss has taken steps to remain alive 
And in a moment now, we have torpedoes once again up and running. And I believe I had a friend of mine uh, actually point out that he thought the 20 seconds was a little bit too long for destroyers. It is. It does feel like such a long time. Uh, but it could be argued vice versa. Uh, if you shorten down the amount of time for destroyers to disappear, you're less able to do any real amount of damage towards the enemy destroyers. And obviously destroyers have such good detect uh, that they can generally remain invisible. So it can go both ways. Uh, drop torpedoes on the Edinburgh. I don't think we're going to get lucky. More than likely might have Hydro. Or it could also be the fact that I might have just missed dropped those torpedoes. But uh, Edinburgh should go down um, here in a moment. I do get a little cheeky. I do kind of go for the kill. But broadside Edinburgh AP. And any moment should get the kill on the Edinburgh. That is Kraken Unleashed. In my defense, I did not actually know and did not realize I was one away from a Kraken. So I do do apologize uh, about that. So in my defense, I wasn't trying to kill steel for a Kraken, but I guess I got to kill steel for a Kraken. So take it as you will. Uh, my defense, I was actually not aware. I'd actually lose track sometimes of what kills I've done. So at the moment, uh, we're actually ahead in ships. We're ahead in points, ahead in caps. Enemy Missouri is by him lonesome. I believe there is the KGV versus a uh, Iowa, and I believe uh, Imperial is facing off against the enemy Kagero. And once again, uh, AP against battleships, uh, even at this range, uh, can actually deal a decent amount of damage. And the rate of fire for the Z46 is relatively quickly. And another thing is the fact that we are not detected until obviously the Missouri comes around that corner. Uh, so the Moss is nowhere close to us. And look at that, 3,960, enemy of Missouri is dead. That is kill number six. In my defense, I kind of deserve that kill. Uh, he's been definitely a pain in the butt for us. So not much the enemy team could really do. There is a KGV. He's currently being focused down by uh, Imperial, the Iowa. And I'm actually wondering if that uh, Hipper is now alive. I'm trying to actually watch it. I think he's still AFK. So, not much the enemy team can do. The enemy Moss has essentially ran away. Uh, doesn't even try to uh, help the KGV at, in any circumstance. I'm low on health. Uh, makes his quarter health. But I don't even think the Z-23, unless he got really lucky with torpedoes, could actually take us on in a gunfight. Uh, especially considering uh, how much I've seen of the Z-23 actually using his guns, which was very little. KGV is going to go down. Uh, we are going to capture B, and that is essentially going to be it for this battle. The Moss once again uh, runs away. And yes, I, I will say the Moss is definitely outgunned by a Z-46. Maybe not so much by the Minx, uh, but a Z-46 definitely could take out a Moss with little issue. Uh, but that's going to be it for this battle. Uh, overall, not a bad game. Six kills, 154,000 points of da damage, cracked and unleashed, and a devastating strike. So, not bad. Definitely love my Z-46. I think she is a very fantastic ship especially considering the grind going up to the German line. German destroyer line was definitely a brutal one. Once you get to the Z-23 and Z-46, Z-52, all great ships. Highly recommend them. But this is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zygen.